So in this videos, in this video, I'll be troubleshooting some EC blue, ZL a big. Zillabeg EC Blue fan motors EC motors so it's on a chiller this chiller particularly is called technical systems okay and uh, I'm getting a high pressure alarm uh, on circuit number 8 or compressor 8 HP so circuit number 8 Tripping high pressure, tripping high pressure, I reset it, the compressor came on, it ran for a little bit and then cut off. I know that the fan didn't start up because I already climbed up there and checked it. So while the compressor was running, no fan, no condenser fan motor, and it just cuts off eventually. So uh yeah, let's go. We're gonna be troubleshooting this Zilla Beg EC Blue motor together. Stay tuned. These two down here is uh, for that circuit down here. So I'm going to be opening in cover right here. I'm going to be removing this cover right here. And I'm going to test this motor right here. Okay, this one here shows me some arrow. See a red light. However, I don't know what that error stands for or maybe I do I don't know I think I have some manuals uploaded showing all the fault codes but nonetheless I got a T a T bit and I'm gonna reuse to remove this this cover Okay, that one screw was wiped, so I, so I had no choice but to do this at the moment. I have nothing else at my disposal but to do what I just did, just pry this thing back open. And you can see what's going on, this thing is fried. All right, so now being that these two works in pairs, I'm gonna remove the controls from this unit, from this one, and then I'm gonna go test that one. This thing is fried. So it looks... So these two motors on this 
chiller module or circuit um, they are receiving the same run signal so being that this is fried it could be drowning out or draining down or drawing down the 0 to 10 volts or the 10 volt signal to zero so I'm removing the uh, the DC signal wires from this unit here and then I'm gonna go test this one to see if this is good or not stay tuned to see how I'm gonna test this and I'll explain the minimum you need to make this thing run if this one is not burnt up as well I don't think so let's see because there was a red light flashing in this one so this one appears to be good I don't want to lose these screws that's why I'm like stopping at the top. I don't want to lose them. Yeah, so on that other, the other motor, someone ruined the top of the screw because they didn't have, they didn't have the proper spool. Because if this thing falls, it goes, goes inside. So I don't want to lose the screw, so I'm going to be very careful on that. I think they're all out. So this right here I'm using. Tell her what size this is, is. What, what bit is this? It's a T20 bit. Works perfect in these screws. Fits perfect. Oh, I'm missing one. I just don't want to lose any of these screws in, on the inside. I'm not sure if they could fall out, but I just don't want them to fall out. There's also a rubber gasket underneath here. Okay, so here we got one that's not cooked. And so I will tell you what you need to make this, make this motor run. The minimum is the minimum you need is an enable DI1, and you can program this whether to be open. Are normally close contact switches like right now it's set up oh <laughs> so the minimum you need is di1 digital input one i think i'm zoomed in too much let me zoom out a little bit okay so the minimum you need is digital input one and you can see like right here this is set up for like normally open so whenever you close it and send a signal into digital input one the motor will be ready to run it'll be ready to run but it won't run yet then you need a, a reference uh signal on E1 and that's 0 to 10 volts analog in right E1 so this motor it already provides 10 volts positive DC right here so if you take a jumper from here and put it here you are now at full speed 10 volts in 10 volts DC in so it should go to full speed simultaneously if you have a jumper between digital input 1 and the 24V, then this motor is gonna be good. So first what you'll do, you'll make it ready by taking a jumper between 20, uh, 24 volts and put it over to DI1, our digital input one. And then you wanna take another jumper from your 10 volts plus and you're gonna put it over to E1. Now this, thing should, this motor, if it's good and receiving three phase power, 
lines right here. Your three lines. Your three phase power. If you're receiving three phase three, three phase power, then this motor should ramp up. Now this DI uh, DI one is programmable. If you have the tool to program this uh, motor, um, there is a. I have a video showing you how I access this motor, the programming, using the. I think it's called the AIM module. But check out my videos. I have it. I have it uploaded. I can't remember. Fuck. I leave that in this video link. You guys could see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this motor right here now. Okay. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I already have everything prepped. I've already checked right here. You can see line one, line two, line three. I've checked. I got three phase power there. Um, like I said, um, jumper right now. You can see the jumper between uh, 24 VDC and uh, digital input one or DI DI one or D one. Okay, that's a jumper. It's already there. That means this motor is already ready to go. It's ready to it's ready to run. Ready to run. All it needs is the reference signal, which comes in on E1. Okay, so digital input is satisfied. That's satisfied right now, as you can see. And now we're gonna E1. So I already have I already put this wire here. Attach it to, to the 10 volts DC. And if I was to use my meter, I should show you. Show you right here. Let me go on DC. And I'm going to try and see if I could uh, measure real quick. I'm just going to stick one of my leads in the ground. Chassis the ground. And then the other lead on this wire here. volts DC so now all I have to do now to test this motor is simply take that 10 volt DC and I'm gonna touch it over here to uh, DI or D1 now the reason I remove this wire is because I don't want any interference with this uh, DC supply and the DC supply from the uh, the controller the car the car controller in this unit so let's go ahead and do this right now, and if everything is all right, the motor should run. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. And here we go. The motor is ramping up. Ramping up. Ramping up, ramping up, ramping up, ramping up. Pollen is flying into my eyes right now. I'm just gonna give me allergies. Uh, wasn't a good idea. But now you can see, guys. Simple as that. Okay? That's how you do it. This motor is good. That motor is fine. 